Over the last 12 months we've seen both the needs of our learners at Starting Point Community Learning Partnership and also the customers at Start Point Coffee Shop change quite considerably. We have quite a few people coming to us now that are experiencing quite difficult times in their lives. This year we introduced the Pledge to End Loneliness in our community. Our Pledge to End Loneliness is threefold. It's about introducing suspended coffees within the coffee shop. This is Coffees for Carers and we're asking just the general public staff as well to buy a coffee. They write a little message on the love heart. We pin the love heart on here and then someone comes in and we know that they care for people. It's just for them to take a card and they get a free drink and it's just a way of saying thank you for what you do. We've also introduced something called Jenny's Gems which is a befriending scheme where volunteers can come and just simply sit with other customers. And finally, we've introduced a digital befriending scheme which allows starting point tutors to actually go into people's homes who would be unable to attend our outreach sessions otherwise. The hope is that through all three of those initiatives that we can really go some way to tackle the issue of loneliness within the community. It's social as Audrey, well. Audrey was sat here before, oh, yes. yeah, was in the first class. She loves coming here because she lives on her own, oh, she's yeah. nobody. Yeah. She really loves the atmosphere here. She does. They make you feel very comfortable when you do come. You, you know, do get one-to-one, don't you? One, don't yeah, you, help, you do. So the Free Sisters is the Tower Blocks in Brinnington and we have a community hub in Brecon Towers. We run computer sessions, we run cooking sessions, we got Wi-Fi brought into the towers and it doesn't cost them anything. It's just to get them out, to get them mixed in with other people. I think what we do in Brecon is great for people who feel isolated in the homes, don't necessarily get out and socialise. It's a really positive impact that it has on the community. My first project that I started on was Offerton Online iPad stroke tablet training. I started off with about four or five learners. The numbers just grew and grew, so now we have about 23 learners. We worked in partnership with Stockport Homes Refugee Action to do some computer sessions for female refugees. There was three different languages, so we had three different interpreters. There was learning for myself and our volunteers. One of our volunteers was a little bit reluctant. When I heard about the refugees, the first thing I said was, oh, I don't want to do with them. But sitting there and listening to some of the translators' explanations as what these ladies were saying made me realise there was a, like a light come on. A lot of my problems was ignorance. So now I have a newfound respect. It made a big difference to my life. Instead of just teaching technical skills and digital skills, we've asked our volunteers what we can do to help them in their day-to-day -day lives in order for their volunteering experience with us to be the best it can be. We've linked up with the Stroke Association and Healthy Stockport to deliver training to our volunteers to help them make themselves happy and have healthy well-being. Alongside with this, we've also been looking at healthy eating and healthy cooking. Today we're at Moss Bank, we're providing a community cookery session. We skillshare with them, we give them ideas on better eating, introduce them to new foods. We provide all the ingredients. We have some people that have come to the group who have some health issues. They've benefited because they've been able to use the skills we've given them and the information we've given them, take it away and improve their health with it. It's a good social event for them as well as learning. In the team, we're always supporting each other. The learners see that we support each other. Most recently, our volunteers have got some Fitbits. We've got one too. And we're setting it up as a bit of a competition in who can get the most steps. At lunchtime, we'll try and have a walk. The walking helps us prepare ourselves for the afternoon session. We've got timers, and the idea is that we're going to work in 25 minute chunks and at the end of that 25 minutes we have a 10 minute breather away from whatever we're doing we're getting better productivity than we would without the timers i love working with people i'm a people's person it's just a caring place to be and that's what i like i like to see people develop and not just learn but they're also meeting new people a smile on somebody's face after they've discovered they can do something because it was easier than they thought it was, that's priceless. So it's been fantastic, the motivation in the volunteers grow. We've seen their health and happiness go up and all together we're a much better team.